If you've been in the parts business for a while, you've probably come across more than your fair share of DIYers who seem like they're in way over their head on a particular repair, or at the very least, they don't realize exactly what they're getting into. That's a recipe for a customer comeback. In this video, we're gonna talk about an option that you can present to your DIY and DIFM customers that can save them a lot of time on a notoriously labor-intensive repair job and greatly increase their chances of getting the job done right the first time. We're talking about replacing a failed Gen 1 press and bearing, and we're gonna go over an alternate repair option called a loaded steering knuckle. Before we get into that, let's talk about what a steering knuckle does. A steering knuckle is a connection point between the wheel and the vehicle suspension. Typically made of steel or aluminum, steering knuckles link hubs, bearings, calipers, struts, and control arms, and they become an integral part of a vehicle's steering system. So what would cause a steering knuckle to fail prematurely? Most commonly, it's due to damage from collisions, potholes, or curb strikes, but it also could be the result of rust and corrosion, especially in parts of the country that experience harsh winter weather. If you have a customer with a bad steering knuckle, they might complain that the vehicle shakes or pulls to one side while driving, or they might have noticed uneven tire wear. So let's get back to that press and bearing. The time needed to remove and replace a Gen 1 bearing can vary wildly. If there are no rust-related issues, it might take an hour or two. But if there's extensive rust and corrosion, the job could take an entire day. You may have seen an Eric the Car Guy video in which the host has to resort to using a welding torch to try to remove a bearing that was seized into a knuckle after his 20-ton shop press couldn't press out the stubborn bearing. For your DIFM customers, this kind of unpredictability can make it difficult to schedule work and it can make the whole job unprofitable. Plus, other components such as the steering knuckle can be damaged during the process of removing the bearing. Fortunately, there's a solution available in the aftermarket that can make life a whole lot easier for your DIFM and DIY customers who are replacing a Gen 1 press and bearing or even a damaged steering knuckle. These OE Fix loaded steering knuckles from Dorman are designed to make these repairs easier and more predictable with the bearing, the knuckle, and all the other application specific components pre assembled and ready for installation right out of the box. For rear applications, they also include the parking brake shoes and hardware. Dorman has found that these loaded knuckles can reduce repair time by up to 75%, which is gonna free up lifts and make jobs easier to schedule for your DIFM customers. The other nice thing is the loaded knuckle assembly comes pre-pressed, so there's no need to press out the old bearing or press in the new one. That opens up this repair to shops of all sizes and makes the repair much more accessible to your DIY customers. Your customers might think they're saving money by trying to replace a press in bearing and reusing the steering knuckle, but any cost savings goes out the window if they end up damaging other components while removing the old bearing or the job takes so long that they lose out on other business. Do your customers a favor and let them know that there are full system solutions available in the aftermarket that can take the hassle and guesswork out of bearing replacement. I'm Josh Cable. Thanks for watching.